Theory Education, you'll be brought to your class creation stream where a list of all the creations by your class will appear. If you're not on this page, you can go to click the Creations tab at the top of your page. And now we're going to start by making a music creation or create music. Just to let you know, Aviary Education has an app to create images, an app to create vectors or drawings, and one to edit audio, which we're going to go through right after. And right now we're going to look at how to create music. So we're going to click Create Music. And this will open up Aviary's app called Rock, their music educator, or sorry, music creator. So the first thing we do is choose an instrument. We've got drums and there's all sorts of different pianos and singing, human beatbox, all sorts of stuff. I'm going to go with acoustic drums. The other thing you can do is open up a sample project if you like. I'm going to use drums as my instrument. And what it will do is populate my screen with the drums. So down the left hand side are all the different drums. Okay, and you'll see that it automatically pops up off, usually the first time you're here with these speech bubbles that show you different parts of the screen and when you're finished you can hit close. So all my different drums are listed down the side so if I want to hear what the crash drum sounds like I hit that. If I want to hear what... Okay, so those are all the different sounds, and you can take a look at all the different ones. And if I want that sound to appear on a beat, then I hit the, I click on the little dot, and put a blue, mm, turn it on for that beat. So this one will play every second beat for eight measures. There we go. And if I wanted, let's try this one. Um, the opposite. Whoops, whoops, whoops. And if you do make a mistake, you can just click it again. And it'll disappear. Okay, and maybe I want this to go here. And if I want to hear what it all sounds like together, I press the try, the play. and it will keep playing over and over again until I hit stop. So a couple of things that you can change. I can change the beats per measure. So right now I have four beats per measure and I have eight, I believe, measures. I want to change that. I can make it more. You can see now it's eight beats per measure. Or I could make it two. But I am going to stick back up to four. I can play with the volume. I can change the tempo so that it's a lot faster or slower. So let's see what it sounds like now. Okay. And one other thing I can do, I can clear it all if I want to, to clear the screen and start again. That will wipe all of the beats that I put in. So if I do that, there we go, it'll disappear. And if I hit randomize, it'll randomly fill in all the beats and give me a totally random um, setup. The other thing I can do is I can change the sound. So right now I have the drums and if I want to change that then I could change it to say guitar chords. Okay, and then I'm going to add all. Am I sure? Because it's going to replace. Yes. Okay, so now if I close this, all of my instruments have changed here. So now if I listen to it all, <laughs> it sounds very, very different. And there are some settings on each one. So if I want to mute one, I'm just going to show you where I found that again. There's a little wheel, the very top left, little in the little blue 
uh, top left corner of each, each sound has it. Okay, and if I press on that little blue wheel, I can either mute it or make it just this one. I can change a couple of other things. So if I wanted to, I could remove this sound, so now that one's empty. The other thing I could do up here is if I wanted to bring in a sound effect that wasn't within rock, so it wasn't one of the instruments they already created for me, maybe the sound of a clap, I could record that somewhere and then import that by doing this and then uploading a new sound. That's pretty advanced and there's not always a whole lot of use for that, but when it is, it's great to know that it's there. Okay, so if I want to bring over or change one of these sounds, so I'm going to, instead of changing all of my sounds this time, like the last time I went from all drums to all guitar chords, this time I'm just going to change a few. I'm going to go into we'll go into the acoustic drums, we'll go to the crash, and we're going to drag this over, and I want it to replace that one there. So now that one has been changed to the crash. And then let's try another one. There we go. And I'll close this. So now I should have a few drums. And I still have my guitar chords and some of them, and I can listen to what it sounds like. So it clearly needs a lot of work at the moment, but you get the idea. You can spend lots of time in there creating really neat music. But the next important, really important, is how to save. So if I click Save As, give myself a title. There we go. I'm going to give it a name and save it as a new creation. And once it's finished saving, you'll get this screen here. Here I can actually listen to my whole creation if I wanted to. I can download it as an mp3 or a WAV file to be used on my computer. If I wanted to share my comment with someone, I can just copy this and paste it in an email and send it to somebody. And if I want to embed a little player like this here on my own web page or blog, then I copy this and paste it somewhere. And we're actually going to do this um, near the end of the session tonight and make sure that everyone knows how to do that if they have a website and they want to be able to do that. Okay, so I could continue working on my creation if I wanted to, but instead I've already saved it, so I'm just going to close this window. And I will be brought back to my creations list. And if I refresh this page, or just bring this page back up, update it, it will show, there we go, there's that creation that I just created, and I can listen to it right in my clock screen. And I can edit it if I wanted to go back into that rock editor and edit it. I can download it or I can delete it. Or here is the embed code if I want to do that from here. So all these possibilities are available right from within the stream. 